you did such a great job. You answered every question. You knew all the facts. Sister Biden, as a matter of fact, these are all the false and misleading claims that Biden made. I don't know, billionaires, tax, Trump, unemployment, Trump wants to get rid of social society, security, $200 cap, borders, and a lot of more things. But hey, I mean, it's part of your job. You do you, boo. I'm surprised the things you were feeding him, you didn't fact check them. You just thought you could just lie and get away with it without people actually coming out and debunking it. I'm actually more surprised about the fact that Sleepy Joe transferred the message to the people and people actually understood what he said. Even if you look at Sleepy Joe, he's like, wait, did I actually get all these things right? Did, did I answer all the questions? I don't really remember much. I took like a couple of naps during the whole debate. And if you don't know who this is, this is Jilly Biden, Joe Biden's number one fan and wife. The one between them who can actually speak properly. And let me ask the crowd, what did Trump do? Why? Yes. I swear to God, this is an episode straight out of the boys series. Like we actually watched the boys series this whole thing is so accurate. Yes, we watch the boys for the, the blood, the superhero, the villains, whatever. But when it comes to politics, this shit makes a lot of sense. Why? Now, I know I said on this channel, we don't really talk about politics or religion. We try to stick to entertainment stuff. And if you really look at the debates that happened last night, it was not political at all. It was a whole stand-up comedy, but a really bad one so we're here today not to talk about politics i'll just give you the base one but the whole purpose of this video is to laugh at both mainly sleepy joe and orange trump now i'm going to give you the basic information of exactly what happened last night last night was a presidential one of the presidential debates that happens every four years for an 80 year old man versus another 80 year old man who when they come together and the, the president at the time needs to fight for the title or someone else is going to come and kick them aside and take their spot now i'm not gonna lie to you i don't understand the whole democrat memocrat uh, house of this house of that thousand people run the whole country all i understand is there's a debate and there's gonna be a president selected in november of this year 2024 and what else do i know about this is sleepy joe likes to take naps between the debate and trump is just a egotistic bored billionaire who likes to run the country and uh, play puppets with everyone so lay back and kick your leg off we're going to go through multiple clips that i found on twitter and we're just going to have a good laugh about sleepy joe and trump on this first one we're just going to witness two 80 year old men calling each other suckers and losers my son was not a loser was not a sucker you're the sucker you're the loser president trump uh, first of all, that was a made-up quote, suckers and losers. They made it up. It was in a third-rate magazine that's failing, like many of these magazines. Uh, he made that up. This is another funny clip I found from Sleepy Joe. Just one of the times that he zoned out through the whole thing and took a mini nap with his eyes open. It's an embarrassing day in the history of our country's life. President Trump, over the last eight years... <laughs> it's embarrassing. My question to Sleepy Joe is, does he know where he is? He definitely has an airpiece because this picture came out. So the words are being feed to him one by one. And I have no doubt the people speaking these words, they're speaking so slow, so broken. Read it. And they are holding their fingers together, hoping that he will not, first of all, fall asleep or zone out. Second of all actually understand what they're saying and just not go out of his way and start wandering around because bro is like 180 years old and whenever he wakes up in the morning he has no idea where he is now this is the most popular clip out there on the internet right now and this is going to give you even more brain farts the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more border patrol and more uh, asylum officers president trump uh, i really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence i don't think he knows what he said either look it's truly a shame that each president just keeps embarrassing themselves and the country one after another. And for someone like, I don't know how he got elected in the first place. Four years ago, how did he manage not to fall asleep throughout the whole election? He wasn't really taking naps when he was getting elected, when he was fighting for the spot. Did he collapse in these four years or he just stopped using sugar? It was just for the election days. I feel like a president should be able to walk up the stairs. A president should be very well spoken without stuttering or having cuts in their videos or going just getting brain farts in the middle of the conversation. We'll make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID. Excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with uh, look. 
if that's like the bare minimum and trump isn't a saint as well he's just a billionaire bored i really believe that celebrities or just rich people should stop being president especially like social media people they should put someone who's not an actor in social media or influencer in the first place and there's nothing to do about it like each president anyone else just going going to come they're just going to be as bad because that's what politics does to you even if your intentions are like really good you want to actually change america make it greater again or any president of any country the second you step into the the presidency you become a president you realize how corrupt everything is and automatically you're just going to be a bad person now in all seriousness i believe none of them should be the president in fact you know who i sh believe who should be a president megatron i swear to god put megatron and she will make america great again megatron 2024 and during the whole debate sleepy joe's page on twitter has been blowing up we are the most admired admired country in the world. No one wants to screw with us. Brother, I don't even think you believe that. Obviously, this is his team tweeting all these things because Biden probably doesn't know what even Twitter is, what social media is. Bro is so old. When he was 60 years old, there was still no Facebook. Now, throughout the whole debate, Sleepy Joe made no sense. He couldn't even put his words together. The amount of times he fell asleep inside the debate and he woke up and he didn't know where he was. Like, Alzheimer was even confused with him. And this is the 30 seconds that he actually made sense. Look, folks, what's going to happen over the next couple of days is they're going to be they're going to be out there fact checking all the things he said. I can't think of one thing he said that was true. 100 percent, because Sleepy Joe is the only one who truly shares the truth with the people. Now, this is a very unique footage of them walking up after the whole debate. Trump just walking up and the iconic moment of Joe Biden. He didn't lose his way this time. It was just hard for him to take three steps, so his wife helped him. Now, in most of the articles, when they asked him why did Sleepy Joe need needed help to just go down two steps, Miss Jilly said that he had a cold. He was just sick, and that's why he couldn't walk, to, like, step down two steps. Sure, Miss Jilly, I think I found the whole problem to this whole thing. Honestly, with the next presidency, these two just need to go out of the way, and they need to bring someone older. Once they bring someone older, I believe America will be great again. Now, Dr. Julie Biden, the first lady, the number one fan of Sleepy Joe, yeah, she has some few words to say, and I found this clip very extremely funny. You heard Joe's heart tonight on the debate stage. He wakes up every morning thinking about how he can make the lives of Americans better. Now, Miss Judy, I found that very hard to believe. I believe Biden just wakes up every morning being confused of where he is, not knowing anyone around him, starts screaming at them in gibberish. Him just pointing fingers at everyone saying, who are you? Why am I here? What am I doing? What am I? And just people coming up to him, sir, calm down. You are the president of the United States. And he's like, oh, okay. Oh. Bring me some ice cream and cocaine. He's the president we need, the president you deserve. Sign up at JoeBiden.com. Honestly, I, I don't know why people still go and vote to these things. Why bother? Go there and fangirl and be like, Biden, Biden. And another thing I found funny, all the promises they make to you once they become president again. Like Biden is making so many promises on his tweets. Oh, if I get reelected, I'm going to do this. If I get reelected, I'm going to do that. My friend, you are the president right now. Do it now so people will see the proof and they will vote for you. That's like the one-on-one -on -one PR strategy. Instead, you're like, if I get reelected. Now, this is the picture. And this is the results for the first debate that happened. Trump, obviously, he can smile. But Biden, this is definitely either from 30 years ago or this is an AI Photoshop edited stuff. Even for the people who vote for these things, I believe the whole system is just corrupted. None of the people have any say in it. There's that six, seven people of the, the, the billionaires, the tr trillionaires, the people who actually run the country and that no one knows how they look like. They sit on the top of the top of the food chain, the top of the tables, and they make the decisions and they play with everyone as a puppet. But the people think, oh, we are in control. We are choosing the next president. When it comes to politics, everything is just corrupted. They're going to make you promises. And once they get elected or reelected, they're not going to act on it. Now, we had a good run. It was really funny watching this debate. Uh, there's so much more to it, but these are the best ones that I found. Before I end the video, by subscribing to this channel, you are going to be voting for Megatron for 2024. Hashtag Megatron 2024 in the comments.